Are you one of the millions of Americans suffering from acid reflux? Did you know actually 50% of America suffers from this? Billions of dollars are spent every single year on things to suppress that acid reflux, right? Those burps that you get, the acid coming up in your mouth. I don't want you to be spending your money on that stuff. And I know the companies that produce it are gonna hate me for making this video, but you have to really understand what the root cause of the issue is. It's not the fact that you're making too much acid, acid reflux, right? Some people think that, they're burping it up, they feel like they're making too much. It's actually the opposite of that. Acid reflux is actually your body's inability to produce as much HCL, or which the hydrochloric acid in your stomach, as it needs to digest the food and to maintain that homeostasis of the gut. Often acid reflux is a sign of H. pylori. So I'm gonna show you some easy, natural ways that you can start implementing right away to hopefully make it subside feel better, have more energy, and not have to worry about acid reflux. It can be embarrassing. You know, you get the burps, the hiccups, the stomach, the heartburn. You have to take out your medication and have it before you eat a meal. It can be pretty inconvenient. And if we do anything at FitLife TV, it's to bring more convenience to you. What can we do? In a second, I'm gonna show you a juice recipe that will really help with it. But first, let's talk about some tangible tips, tools, and strategies that you can implement in your life. So number one, I want you to start eating unprocessed foods. Foods from the farm, foods from the land, not from some plant that they put in boxes that sits on shelves for years with the stability light that's through the roof. We gotta start eating healthy food from the farmer's markets, from Whole Foods, preferably organic if you can get your hands on it. Number two, probiotics. Your gut bacteria changes every 20 minutes. 80% of your immune system comes from your gut, 90% of the serotonin, which is that happy chemicals produced in the gut. So you wanna make sure that you're feeding yourself good probiotics as well as prebiotics, restricted starches, things that, like the celery of this, feeds that good bacteria. Because you are not what you eat, you are what your bacteria eats in your body, which produces that healthy colony. Number three is fermented foods. Fermented foods are absolutely amazing and um, they help feed that good bacteria in your gut. Number four is high quality sea salt. Celtic sea salt has over 88 trace minerals in it, or you could get pink Himalayan sea salt, and um, it's absolutely amazing for you. I want you to start eliminating food triggers. Food triggers are things that we talk about with our coaching students that can trigger allergies, such as sugar, dairy, wheat, alcohol, caffeine are more uh, common food triggers, so I want you to start eliminating those as well. Number six is one of my favorite things. Um, we made a blog post, Shree, what was it, 99 things apple cider vinegar is good for? Yeah, 99 things apple cider vinegar is good for. This stuff's absolutely amazing. I try to get one or two tablespoons a day mixed up in a little bit of water. It's gonna give you more energy. It's going to help balance out that internal digestive system. One thing I'd recommend is if you do have acid reflux, maybe try putting a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of this in water and drinking it 10 minutes before a meal. It's gonna help build more HCL in your stomach so that you can digest the food. All right, so those are the six things. We're now gonna make a juice recipe. Come on over here. What do we got? We got one cucumber, three stalks of celery, some collard greens, and you know I love these things. We have a half of a Granny Smith apple. Green apple has a little bit less sugar than red apple. It's not quite as sweet either. We're also going to add one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, and this is the acid reflux juice recipe. It's gonna help you out. Here we go. Mmm. That apple actually has a nice kick to it. Apple cider vinegar, I probably put about two tablespoons in here. You could back off of it a little bit if you want to. It's really, really good. Love this juice recipe. All right, so it's that time. Who won the juicer? Remember, next week if you want to win the juicer, scroll down to the bottom of this blog post. Leave a comment below about how your life has changed by implementing some of the strategies and tips that we talk about on FitLife TV. Today's juicer winner is Timothy Bermudez. Timothy started watching along and making our smoothie recipes about six months ago. He's noticed great improvements with his eczema. His wife and him also started making natural homemade baby food for their daughter. Talk about super parents. 
Use this Kuvings juicer to boost your family's health and keep us posted on how you feel. Congratulations, Timothy. So hopefully you enjoyed these tips, my friend. Make this green juice, leave a comment below. I'm gonna give away one of the Kuvings juicers to somebody who tells me about juicing and how it's impacted their life. Specifically, what I'm looking for this week is if juicing has helped you deal with some sort of gut problem. You know, maybe it's acid reflux or something it's helped you with. So leave a comment below and uh, we'll pick a winner for next week. As always, Drew Canoli, give this video a big like, share it with somebody that you care about. It's all about the movement and um, I want you to do this with me. As a fit life coach, um, I'm impacted by the stories that I hear from other people in our community. So remember, we're in this together. I'll see you soon.